This video demonstrates how to configure security policies on the RGWall 1600Z S Series Cloud Managed Firewall. The security policy function is used to control whether traffic traversing a firewall is forwarded. This function is the core of firewall security control. A security policy matches traffic based on rules including source and destination addresses, services, and applications to permit or deny traffic forwarding by the firewall. Now, let's delve into the working principles of security policies. When a packet arrives at the firewall, the security policy module matches the attributes of the packet, such as the source and destination security zones, source and destination IP addresses, applications, and services, against the filter criteria defined in security policies. If the packet meets all the filter criteria in a policy, the packet is permitted or discarded based on the action set in the policy. If intrusion prevention, virus protection, or other functions are enabled in the security policy, corresponding detection is further performed on the permitted packets to identify and discard attack and virus packets and forward normal packets. On the RGWall 1600 Z S Series Firewall, security policies have the following characteristics. 1. Security policies are implemented based on security zones. A security zone consists of one or more interfaces with the same attributes. There are three default security zones, Trust, Untrust, and DMZ. 2. To control data forwarding, the RGWall 1600 Z S Series Firewall denies all traffic by default. In quick onboarding, some security policies can be delivered to permit specific traffic to pass through the firewall. 3. Security policies are matched from top to bottom. If a policy is matched, the matching stops and the traffic is permitted or denied according to the action in the matched policy. Let's go through the process of configuring security policies in a typical networking environment. The enterprise intranet is connected to the internet through the firewall. A security policy needs to be configured on the firewall to allow only internet users on the network segment 192.168.1.0 to access the internet while preventing internet users from accessing internet users. In addition, enable intrusion prevention and virus protection to protect internet users. Now, let's see how to configure a security policy. 1. Log into the firewall web UI and choose policy a security policy. 2. Click Create. In the dialog box that is displayed, you can choose to directly add a security policy or enter the simulation space to add a security policy. Here, a security policy is directly added. Three, Click Create in the dialog box. The Create Security Policy page is displayed. Enter the name of a security policy, for example, allow underscore trust underscore to underscore untrust. The policy is enabled by default. If it is disabled, the policy does not take effect. Select the policy group to which the policy belongs. You can group policies to facilitate management. Configure the policy location. A policy closer to the top has a higher matching priority. Enter a description to specify the function of the security policy. Packet filter criteria include source and destination addresses, services, and applications. Packets that meet the filter criteria are processed according to the action set in the policy. In this example, set the source security zone to trust. Source address to the network segment 192.168.1.0 of intranet underscore users. Destination security zone to untrust. And destination address to any. Set the time range when the security policy takes effect. In this example, Set the time range to any, indicating that the configuration takes effect permanently. Click Add One-Off Time Plan or Add Cyclic Time Plan to add a time range. 
set the action to be performed on the packets that match the policy. Permit indicates permitting and deny indicates discarding. In this example, set the action to permit. Configure content security to determine whether to perform intrusion prevention and virus protection for packets permitted by the policy. In this example, enable the predefined intrusion prevention template client and predefined virus protection template default for content security check. And disable URL filtering. Configure advanced settings to enable the long-lived connection function for special servers with long-lived connection requests. After this function is enabled, connection requests from the server are not affected by firewall connection timeouts. In this example, the long-lived connection function is disabled. 4. Verify that the configuration is correct and click Save. After the security policy is delivered, you can verify the configuration effect in the following two ways. 1. On the security policy overview page, view the number of times a security policy is hit and the session hit information. 2. Choose Monitor. Log Monitoring. Security Log. Click Search Criteria. Set the Source Security Zone to Trust. Destination Security Zone to Untrust. Source address to 192.168.1.0 and log type to intrusion prevention and virus protection. Then click search and check the security defense effect of the intrusion prevention and virus protection templates. Thank you for watching. For details about security policies, see RGWall 1600Z S Series Cloud Managed Firewall V5.2 NGFW underscore NTOS 1.0 R6P1 User Manual on WGA Official Website.